DNA is a molecule that contains the genetic instructions used in the development and functioning of all living organisms. It's a long, double-stranded helix composed of four different types of nucleotides, adenine, guanine, cytosine, and thymine. The sequence of these nucleotides determines the genetic code of an organism, which governs everything from its physical traits to its biochemical processes. DNA is located in the nucleus of a cell and is responsible for the transmission of genetic information from one generation to the next. Contact with extraterrestrial life is a highly debated topic, not just within scientific and academic circles. Tons of research efforts have been poured into looking to contact alternate life forms or even locate life elsewhere, and plenty have questioned if contacting advanced life forms would be a wise idea, that is, if they are there at all. However, Research developments in DNA sequencing have pushed people to ask the question, could aliens be communicating to us through the DNA of bacteria? This theory has actually been in discussion for decades, with members of the search for extraterrestrial intelligence posing some interesting insights. Despite these debates having existed for a while, these concepts and ideas were largely hypothetical, though following the sequencing of the human genome, marked in 2003 with the completion of the Human Genome Project, we know we are able to look for patterns within DNA strands. We know that bacteria in space have a long travel life and are capable of being fired great distances, even light years away from where they began. This means that bacteria could act as good hosts for messages, with aliens being able to send messages to us from afar. Trusting their notes will make it a good way through the universe. Robert Zubrin spoke at the Breakthrough Discuss in 2019 conference at the University of California to discuss the plausibility of communicating through encoded DNA. It's important to note that he is also an astronautical engineer. He said, whilst explaining how the tiny microbial bacteria could break the gravitational force of the stars they reside with, that FG and K spectral type stars could allow bacteria to break away. These stars are typically the brighter ones in the sky. He goes on to explain that other stars may struggle to push the bacteria outside of their own solar systems, preventing the interstellar space travel needed to receive alien codes. However, Zubrin did cite a paper that theorized that if a bacterial colony was strongly magnetized, then it could create a miniature magnetic sail. This gives the bacteria the potential to gain a 500 km per second solar wind, enough to move it out of the solar system with ease. Of course, this is all hypothetical, and there are a great number of other theories speculating as to how this is possible at all. Unfortunately, there are not any certain answers. In regard to the content of these possible messages, we know based on research conducted a little closer to home that we are able to encode bacterial DNA with information. The New York Genome Project was able to encode 215,000 terabytes of information per gram of DNA. An individual bacterium usually ranges between 1 and 10 millionths of a meter, giving plenty of room to code in a bacterial colony. As of 2019, it was considered realistic to encode some with 900 terabytes of data, which, when given some context, is ginormous. Zubrin likens this data size to 2 billion 200 page books. Zubrin suggests that the next step in this research is to begin looking for encoded microbes around us. He suggests exposing bacteria to, as he describes, space conditions, to see which bacterium would be best suited and adapted for flight and to survive in various conditions. Any anomalous microbes in our stratosphere could be worth further investigation. By the time we figure out any DNA codes, it could be equivalent to uncovering an ancient artifact. NASA found a strange radio signal coming from Venus. Even though scientists are always on the lookout for strange or seemingly inexplicable phenomena when venturing through space, when they do encounter odd or mysterious happenings, they are frequently not at all what they expected to find. Recently, NASA's Parker Solar Probe entered the upper atmosphere of Earth's neighbor Venus in order to collect data about the planet, and the probe detected odd radio signals coming from the atmosphere. And, while those of us unfamiliar with the inner workings of space might immediately jump to the conclusion that these could be signals from an alien race living on the planet, the true meaning is something altogether more exciting, at least for scientists studying space, that is. These radio signals that were detected are naturally occurring within the atmosphere of Venus and indicate that the Parker Solar Probe, flying over 830 kilometers above the planet, had entered the outer atmosphere, specifically an upper layer known as the ionosphere. Remarkably, 
The last time that anyone had been able to detect radio readings from Venus's upper atmosphere was almost 30 years ago, in 1992, which means that this new data will be able to give researchers valuable insight into the changes that have occurred on the planet in the intervening years. This is especially valuable as the unforgiving heat of Venus's atmosphere makes the planet incredibly hard to explore and study. So, what did the researchers discover about the planet that was different than in 1992? For starters, the atmosphere appears to be much thinner than the last time that data was gathered. Researchers believe that this is due to the fact that the Sun's magnetic poles mysteriously swap places every 11 years as a result of the star's solar cycles. Before the magnetic poles switch, the Sun's magnetic field weakens and then flares back to its maximum strength before fading again into the next switch. Because the earlier 1992 measurement was taken during a time in the solar cycle when the magnetic field was close to the maximum, and the current reading is while we are approaching the solar minimum, scientists hypothesize that the ionosphere of Venus is changing with the solar cycle and may be greatly influenced by the Sun's magnetic fields. Although why this is happening is unclear, scientists hope that future data gathered from the planet will help to clue them in. Physicists may have found a way to create traversable wormholes. The rules of the universe are fairly fixed, and the aim of some of the greatest areas of science is to try and understand what these rules are. Fun favorite sci-fi tropes often like to toy with these rules and play with the ideas of what if they were not there. It's this kind of rule-breaking that leads to ideas like getting lost in wormholes and the fun space-themed dangers we see on the big screen. In reality, the idea of wormholes could exist. In the rules laid out by the general theory of relativity and the standard model of physics, but these were not traversable, meaning you cannot move through them. That is, until now. A wormhole is a theoretical structure. The idea is to think of it like a tunnel where the two ends represent different points in space-time. This means that you go into the wormhole and emerge in the same place at a different point in time, or at the same point in time at a different place, or at a different point in time and in a different place. People are still speculating whether wormholes could possibly exist. Sure, they do not go against the ideas of the general theory of relativity, but we certainly have never seen any. In 2021, a team of physicists working at Princeton found a loophole in this wormhole theory. With the ideas laid out through quantum mechanics in a five-dimensional universe, it could be possible, according to these researchers, to create a wormhole large enough for a human spacecraft to travel through and could spit out the astronauts on the other side of the universe. However, this idea is purely confined to the mathematical and theoretical world. It is highly unlikely for something like this to naturally exist, and our modern technology is nowhere near advanced enough to facilitate something this complex. The idea that wormholes may exist and that they could be travelled through is truly so fascinating, though it does not seem like we will be skipping around the universe anytime soon. Missing Black Hole with 10 Billion Solar Masses When it comes to space, there is one thing that we have all heard about – black holes. Books, movies, and TV love to feature this celestial phenomenon. Though our grasp of understanding is rather tenuous, it seems that a black hole exists at the very center of each galaxy, drawing anything and everything into it with its unparalleled gravitational pull. As such, it seems that keeping track of black holes would be the easy part. If they are so huge, monumental, and powerful, how could one go missing? Even so, that is exactly what happened with this black hole. About a decade ago, Dr. Mark Postman, a member of the Space Telescope Science Institute, was surveying surrounding galaxies with the famous Hubble Space Telescope. While surveying, Dr. Postman found a supergiant galaxy now referred to as A2261 BCG, with no black hole at the center. Indeed, the finding was exceedingly strange. An expert of galactic nuclei at the National Optical Infrared Astronomy Research Laboratory in Tucson, Arizona, Todd Lauer, added that the absence of the black hole was really unusual. According to everything we know about black holes, this supergiant galaxy must have one at its center. This black hole is expected to house 10 billion solar masses, while the black hole at the center of our own galaxy, the Milky Way, 
has only 4 billion. It seems impossible and unfathomable that a black hole of this size has simply evaded notice or attention. So what exactly is happening? Using the ideas postulated by three astronomers, Mitchell Begelman, Martin Rees, and Robert Blandford, one theory says that A2261 BCG originally had two black holes that eventually combined and turned into nothing. Of course, if the burst was unequal on both sides, the impact could have sent one of the black holes flying through the galaxy. However, after analysing and surveying A2261 BCG even further, scientists found something interesting. The diffuse core of the galaxy seems to house four little knots of light, causing some to think that the black hole's gravitational pull is keeping them there. Sarah Burke Spallor of West Virginia University led a surveying team with the hopes of untangling what the four knots could be. They found that two of them were most likely two smaller galaxies existing inside the main galaxy. Hubble was unable to provide enough details on the other two knots to reach a sound conclusion. Luckily, Hubble's successor, the James Webb Space Telescope, was launched in late 2021. Astronomers are hopeful that a telescope of this power and magnitude will be able to describe the four knots in detail and tell us the location of the missing black hole. Despite how improbable it seems that a black hole housing 10 billion solar masses could evade detection for so long, it just goes to show that outer space holds more mysteries than we ever thought. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.